I don't wanna talk about it. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Tay here, and I'm back with another video. And we're back with some Madden content, man. I apologize for last week, we didn't really drop any content, but we're back with the daily, weekly content for Strictly Madden. And we had some football games yesterday. We had a ton of football games yesterday. And I wanted to drop a Team of the Week preview, just some players that I think that may be in the Team of the Week card, or some guys you could potentially invest in. We're gonna see the prices, maybe they'd be worth investing, and maybe not. But I'm just trying to give you guys who I think that might be Team of the Week. Before I start this video, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe button. Man, we're trying to get to 1K by the end of the year. We have 700 subscribers, so we're pretty close. So let's hit that 1,000 subscriber mark. But let's get into the video. I'm gonna be honest, defensively, I don't have many guys, so I'm going to talk mostly offensively. I'm going to go touching some defensive players at the end. But I'm talking about some of the offensive players that I think may be getting the Team of the Week tomorrow, which they did announce tomorrow a Team of the Week content. We're going to be getting some. So let's go up to the first person I think that might get an upgrade. So I'm going to start off with quarterback. I think it's going to be either one or two quarterbacks that get it, but I, I think it's going to be one quarterback that gets a Team of the Week card, but it's out of these two quarterbacks. So the first quarterback I'm going to talk about is Russell Wilson. Russell Wilson actually went crazy yesterday against the Atlanta Falcons. He definitely balled out, put up some big numbers. Um, that little gutsy fourth down call they had, like fourth and five deep bomb. Gotta love it. But Russell Wilson's a guy I think that you should probably invest in. He's not even that expensive right now. I see one low for 8000 and it's not selling right away. So 8000 is not that bad for a quarterback for the power-up car. I think Russell Wilson may have a chance of getting a power-up car. And Russell Wilson always plays good in Madden, so... And he is a running quarterback, nice little scrambling quarterback. If he can get, at, if he can get uh, escape artist, um, it's, I think the price of these power up cars can really go up. So if he gets a card, I think this grows from around eight thousand to maybe fifteen to twenty k. So you can make a good, decent amount of coins if you invest in Russell Wilson. Again, disclaimer. I mean, these are not a hundred percent truth. Like if I say Russell Wilson, if there's no Russell Wilson, it's a guess. I am guessing on cards that may begin upgraded. So. Just take that for a grain of salt. These are some cars I think that may be getting upgrades, but Russell Wilson is definitely a car I think that can get an upgrade. The next quarterback that I think that could potentially get upgraded on Team of the Week is Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers absolutely went ape shit yesterday. He had like 400 yards, like three or four touchdowns. He went crazy trying to show people he's not washed. He's balling out and you see the price right here. He's only at coins again. I, I feel the same way how I feel like Russell Wilson. If he gets an upgraded car, I can definitely see him being around a 15, 20K for his power-up car. So this is a nice little risk you can take. 9K, I would try to snipe these for like 8 to 9K and see where you can get from. But I think Aaron Rodgers has the potential. Him or Russell Wilson, I believe, is going to get a team of the week car. If they do a quarterback, I think it's either going to be him or Russell Wilson. An honorable mention quarterback will be Josh Allen. I think Josh Allen could potentially get a car. But I think it's going to be either Aaron Rodgers or Russell Wilson. The next car I'm going to talk about is Josh Jacobs. I think Josh Jacobs is definitely private. I think he's most likely to get a car. The only thing I have about Josh Jacobs that I don't think his price is going to be this high. This is why it's probably at 7K right now. Because they kind of do Josh Jacobs dirty, man. His speed is never really good. He always has low speed. So if they can find a way to boost his speed up, I think he's going to be more valuable. But I believe, I think it's a 75% chance we get a Josh Jacobs card tomorrow. I think Josh Jacobs definitely deserves a card. What he had like two, three touchdowns yesterday. He went absolutely insane. Showed that he can catch the ball off the backfield. Man, Josh Jacobs, I think he's getting a card. I think it's a 75% chance he gets a card. I think it's very lucky he gets a card. But the only thing you got to worry about, man, is that... He, does, he doesn't really have the speed in the game. So hopefully if he gets a really good car, he gets like uh, one of them truck trucking abilities because his speed, they, they always do him dirty on his speed. So I think this, this might be a good investment. I think if he gets a car, this goes from like, it says 7K right now. I think he might get to like 10K. If he gets some speed, I think the price will go up. So it only, it really depends on the speed they give him. But I don't think, knowing EA, I don't think they're gonna give him a speed upgrade. I don't think he's gonna really be that fast in the game. The next car that I think is gonna get an upgrade that you really can't invest in, but I think he's gonna be a car is Calvin Wrigley. I was gonna put Julio on this list, but he just got a limited edition car like last week. So I don't think they're gonna upgrade him again, but I think Calvin really definitely is gonna get an upgrade. He had like two touchdowns. I think 100 yards receiving, like nine catches. He absolutely balled out yesterday. 
Matt Ryan could have got one, but I don't think they're gonna get Matt Ryan a card. But I think Calvin really is definitely gonna get a upgrade. Probably get like an 82. So I think Calvin really is a quick one. You can't really invest in them. So I just I just want to show like a prediction. So I think Calvin really definitely goes to Elite with a nice team of the week card. Also, I think Naeem Hines get a card too. He actually balled out for a close with a loss. But I just think he just balled out like it's a random card. I think he might get like an 80 elite card. Uh, just quick to just a quick one. Naheem Hines. I think he definitely an upgrade. It might be a nice little receiving back you get for your budget squad. Now I think there is two options for the offensive hero card. Just one of the options is DeAndre Hopkins. He absolutely went crazy. Like nine receptions. No, he had like he had like 14 receptions. Almost a, he had 100 yards and like a. Did he get a touchdown? I know he got one call back. I'm not sure if he got another touchdown, but he absolutely went insane yesterday. He's one of the choices to be an offensive hero. Um, the only thing about DeAndre Hopkins, he's never that fast, but he's only at like 9K. So if you're going to invest in him, I definitely think he will go up if he, if he becomes a hero. If he doesn't become a hero, he may be maybe a football outsider. If they still have that, like EA, we don't really get that much content. So I'm, I'm, I don't know. I'm probably saying too much about football outsiders, but I definitely think he... Has a chance to be in the hero. He absolutely went insane, bro. Just another wide receiver that actually went insane. That I think that most likely will probably get the hero card. And that is Devontae Adams. As you can see, he's already 20K. So he's going to be very expensive. So if you have him, I would I, I would keep him. I would definitely keep him. If you have, if you have multiple Devontae Adams, I would kind of sell some because you never know. EA might just switch on us and go uh, DeAndre Hopkins, so you never know. So I think Devontae Adams definitely has a chance. I think he's most likely to be get the, get the hero card. He absolutely went insane. He had like 14 catches as well, like 150 yards and like two, three touchdowns. He went absolutely nuclear. Um, so that's some of the guys I think that will be in the offensive side. The defensive side, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need y'all to help me out. Let me know down in the comment section. What are some defensive players who you think that should be for the team of the week? I'm going to talk about just a few, some that I just know. Just to, just to stay on the Packers, I think Jair Alexander will definitely get a team of the week card. He had an interception and a safety yesterday, so I'm happy because I have some Jair Alexanders that I've just been holding because I just think he's a really good corner um, and he's going to get an upgrade. So I'm happy he's at 11K. I'm definitely going to keep mine because I'm just going to upgrade my guy because he really, he really plays well for me. So I'm going to keep him. Jair Alexander. Maybe gets like, he has like an 82 car, so maybe gets like an 85, 86 car. EA, you want to show me some love? Give me Jal Jalir Alexander, man. He definitely bought out. Another guy I think that may be getting an upgrade is Miles Jack. It doesn't seem likely. A lot of people don't really have that much. He's only like going for like 1400 right now, so there's a chance he may get an upgrade. I would invest in some. If you can get some for 1400 1500 I'll get a couple of them just in case. They're low risk. You won't really lose any coins for this so definitely get Miles Jack he definitely had a pretty good game against the coach so this is one of the guy I want to get but there are some obvious ones I think that might be getting an upgrade another guy unfortunately I think that probably will get the defensive hero for team of the week is Ryan Kerrigan for my birds he absolutely destroyed us he's at 9k right now so a lot of people have just been scooping him up um he went absolutely nuclear on us he had a couple sacks he's an all-time leader for the Washington football team now with the game he definitely balled out, destroyed our offensive line. So I definitely think he's going to get an upgrade. You can see right now, it's, there's not many much of him up right now because I think people are just going to be buying him up. So if you can find some cheap, I will definitely invest in him. He has a really good chance of going up in price and definitely getting a team of the week. I think he's going to be a defensive hero. Another guy I think that might be having a chance of becoming a defensive hero is Stefan Gilmore. He had a really good game. The defensive player of the year just keeps on balling out. I think he has a chance. If he has, if he becomes a defensive hero, man, he's going to be like a 90 overall. His card's going to be nasty. It's a little slow, so hopefully they give him a little speed upgrade. But Stefan Gilmore is going to be a beast if he gets a hero, man. He has a chance. He had a really good game against the Dolphins. There also, there's also one more card I believe that could be a hero. And this card, if he, if he gets this card, it's going to be nasty. And the last guy I think that has a chance to become a defensive hero is Jamal Adams. Jamal Adams balled out yesterday. He was flying all over the place. Jets fans, I am sorry, but you guys let go. Oh, you guys let go of a beast, man. This guy is absolutely amazing. LSU fan, definitely happy to see my man Jamal Adams balling out there in Seattle. He's 55K, so he's, he's already been expensive, but if... 
He becomes a hero, man. This card's gonna be an absolute monster. I gotta find a way to get this power up card. I'm gonna try to do some methods to find this power up card for the low low. But yeah, these are all the guys I think that has a chance to become a team of the week player. Let me know down in the comment section who you think has a chance to become a team of the week hero and let me know some defensive guys too because I don't look for defensive guys. The offensive guys are who I look for. So hope you like this video. Hit that like if you liked it. Hit that subscribe button for more content like this. It's your boy Tay and I'm out. Peace.